Hello, this is Jess, Computer Gaming, and today I bring you a clock by Pinko. Hello and welcome, this is Jess, Computer Gaming here, and today we have a little review for you. This has been sent over by a company called Pinko here, and today we're going to be having a look at their digital alarm clock. Now, this isn't your standard alarm clock, because, well, it's still a clock, but it does some extra stuff as well. So with this you have two alarms, two separate alarms you can set. There's two different alarm ringtones, so you can change what it sounds like in the morning in case that one annoys you like most people find. Um, the, the digital text on the front it does have six different um, levels of brightness, so you can turn it up and down to however your eyes work in the morning. As far as mine, they don't work very well. Uh, you can snooze it and you can change between 12 and 24 hour clock. Uh, most useful thing, it uses the micro USB to, char uh, to to power it, so you just plug it into a USB, any USB socket. It can be like a phone charger or a laptop or anything like that. Then it just plugs into the back of the clock and it, that powers it up. It also does have a backup battery, so it does save the time if it does get unplugged. And so if you in a power cut or anything, it doesn't just reset like microwaves and everything else would. So without further ado, let's open it up and have a look inside. Alright, so let's take a look in the box. I forgot to mention a little while ago, the volume of the alarm is 60 to 90 decibels and the housing of the actual clock is made out of ABS slash PC, whatever that is. I guess it's plastic. So let's go ahead, go ahead and open this up. So straight away we have the alarm clock, the actual clock itself, in a wrap of bubble wrap here. We'll get to that in a second. Also in the box we have our little instruction manual here and last of all I've already unwrapped this but it is a little micro USB cable it's quite a long one I'm not sure how long exactly but as you can see it's quite far so it can definitely reach behind any bedside cabinets that kind of thing all right so let's go ahead and get this out of the bag so it's just a simple little um, bubble wrap that's it bubble wrap bag so there you go, we're presented with the clock. It's a nice sleek design, back made out of plastic. You can see here that there's the speaker grill on it. Also the input plug, plug for the micro USB. So at the top we have a few buttons. Can my assistant see this? Yeah, we can see this. So these are the two alarm clock buttons. So the two different separate alarms, you just press these to, see, to set the different times. Um, this one is changed between 12 and 24 hour clock. You got this one which is the snooze button and also the brightness levels for the clock. And this one is to set the time and then this one is just to navigate the menus you go through for setting the time and setting the alarms. So let's peel this, this nice sticker off the front, very satisfying. Like so. So you, you wouldn't notice this as a clock unless you plug it in obviously because of how you, you can, just can't see anything in it like a normal clock would. So let's get this plugged in and power it up so I can show you the rest. Hello, I'm cameraman and I don't like talking. Whoa, well, I guess I'm here again. I'm um, just going to bring you through a few of the main features and how to use them of this digital clock. So one of the coolest things I've found, I've got it plugged into my TV at the moment. Um, so that just proves that you can power it out of anything because it is just literally a micro USB cable. Um, so I'm just going to show you real quick here how to change the time on it. So to change the time, these are really tactile buttons, really nice by the way. You press this little clock button. Can you see it, Mr. Cameraman? Yeah. So you press that button here. You'll notice the time starts flashing. So you just press the up and down arrows. You hold it, and then it'll just go through the time. And then when it gets to the PMs, it'll come up with a little icon here saying PM. I'll just keep going so you can see it in a little bit. Where are we, PM? There we go. There's the PM. So to set the time, you just press that same button again there, and then that's that. So you press the 12 to 24 hour clock to change the between 24 hours and the other one, whatever it's called. Let's just change to a time that you can actually, there you go, you can see it's now 24 hour clock. Um, to set the alarms, you've got two different options, obviously one and two. So to set alarm number one, you press alarm number one and it gives you the time on when you want to set it. So same buttons again, these up and down buttons, you just go through it to whatever one you want it to be on. So once you've pressed the alarm button again, that's the time set. Sorry, I'm a bit low there. But that's pretty much all you'll need to know. Josh was stupid and forgot to show you how to change the ringtone, so 
press one of the alarm buttons until it starts flashing and then you press the clock and you can have a BP one that's a bit annoying and you can have this lovely music and then you press the 12 24 hour button to change the volume to have it quiet or loud um, and again to snooze I think I said this earlier but you just press that button to snooze the alarm and also that is the brightness as well so you just press it loads of times to adjust how bright you want it so yeah that's pretty much everything I hope you enjoy this video I'll leave the link to the clock in the description it's on Amazon at the moment for $15.99 and I think that's quite a good price for a clock like this it's all good and stable and it's quite portable considering you can plug it into anything to power it so that's pretty handy um, so yeah, I hope you like this video. It's Jesse Pugh Gaming, and goodbye.